Conformity is a type of social influence involving a change in thoughts, feelings, or behaviors to fit in with a group. This pressure to conform can involve an actual physical pressure from others or the imagined pressure of social expectations. For example, a person in a meeting might express agreement with a new policy that they dislike because most of the others in attendance appear to agree with it. Social pressures can also involve following along with a social script, the culturally constructed expected behaviors, actions, and consequences associated with a specific situation. For example, in the US, it's a common practice to leave a tip for a server, a practice that's actually considered rude in other cultures. Exactly when and why people choose to conform has been a major topic of psychological research. In one famous study, called the Ash Conformity Experiments, a group of eight people was asked to identify which line in a set of three matched the line pictured on a separate card. In actuality, there was only one real participant in the study. The other seven were Confederates, or fake participants who'd been instructed by the experimenters about how to behave. Over 12 trials, the seven Confederates gave incorrect answers in this matching game. And in each of these trials, the real participant was the last one to answer. So what did they say? Did they give the correct answer, or did they conform and give the obviously incorrect one that had been given by their peers? The studies show that the real participant conformed to the majority at least once in 75% of the trials, even though it was clearly incorrect. After the experiment, participants reported having conformed for two reasons. Some wanted to fit in with the group, so they had gone along with the consensus to avoid being different. Others truly believed that the group was better informed than they were and that the majority answer was truly correct. Interestingly, further studies have shown that simply having one other person in the group give the correct answer significantly reduced rates of conformity. Other forms of social influence are obedience, behaving in a certain way given an authority figure's instructions, and compliance, the act of yielding to an implicit or explicit demand. Individuals often comply with an authority figure's request because they're concerned about consequences if they refuse. In fact, compliance tends to increase when the authority figure possesses prestige or is in close proximity to the individual receiving a demand, when the risks of nonconformity would be greatest. A particularly disturbing aspect of this research, though, is that many people will follow orders given by an authority figure even if it involves knowingly causing harm to others. In the Milgram Shock experiment, volunteers were told that they would be participating in a study about learning and memory. A researcher instructed them to use a device to deliver increasingly stronger shocks to a learner, actually a confederate only pretending to be shocked, when they made a mistake on the task. Even though they thought that they were causing deliberate harm to another person, most participants shocked the learner as instructed, some even administering a level of shock that they knew could be deadly. And they continued to do so, even as the learner cried for help, complained of heart trouble, and begged the participant to stop. Even continuing with maximum voltage shocks to the point that the learner pretended to be unresponsive. It truly gives us a better understanding of the phrase, just following orders. Several variations of this experiment have tested the boundaries of obedience. These have revealed participants' obedience decreases when the participant can see or touch the learner apparently being shocked. And when the authority of the experimenter decreased, so did the obedience. This study is scary and extreme. But even in our day-to-day -day lives, we can see that groups influence our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. For example, in groupthink. Pressure to align with the group consensus discourages critical thinking and leads to flawed reasoning. Groupthink can keep people from sharing key information or correcting misconceptions, which can lead to uninformed decision-making. It can also lead to more extreme views and cause people to overlook obvious problems. This is known as group polarization. The ability of group discussion to shift people to positions that are more extreme than their initial opinions. Groups also tend to encourage social loafing, when a person working in a group puts forth less effort than they would if they were working alone, and the feelings of being anonymous that groups provide can result in de-individuation or a loss of self-awareness in groups. This is most easily seen on social media sites, where individuals who can hide behind a screen tend to display more uninhibited behavior than if they were talking to someone face to face. Being part of a group leads people to feel less personally responsible for their choices, and it can amplify energy and emotion. But not all aspects of groups are bad. For example, people often have more fun watching a sporting event, seeing a movie, or dancing as part of a large group than they would with a small group. 
and social facilitation occurs when an individual performs better in front of an audience than when alone. They feed off the energy and excitement of the crowd, which can lead to improved performance.